Hey everybody, back with a new Patreon request. This is from Ace Bunny. They are requesting the third episode of Babylon 5. Uh, I really like last episode. You know, the, the soul seeker came, tried to take the Lin soul. Um, he just lost the plot and was just taking souls before they were even dying. And even the fact that they were taking ones that like they deemed worthy to live on, it was just very problematic. But I really liked the episode. So uh, thank you for this. Uh, request and let's get into it. I expect you in the council chambers at 10 tomorrow morning to begin formal negotiations with the Narn. Unless, of course, you wish to pursue the wise course and cede all claim to the Euphrates sector. I would rather kiss a Jovian Cleveland. You have kissed far worse things in your times, Molari. Yes, and you can burn my plump sentare. Oh. <laughs> Oh, cut. How are you, me? Blow this giant. Go play a little scan the sector. I uh, think again. How <laughs> you pull that off? <sighs> Please try the ambassador again. I've tried three times. There's still no answer. It looks like a orders. Game Boy. Nando and Jakar know a peaceful solution in the Euphrates sector would benefit them more than a conflict. That's where you come in. You're my peeler. You're going to peel away their lies until they're left with that inescapable truth. If Lando ever shows up... He's a little preoccupied. What do you want, you moon-faced assassin of joy? Ambassador, <laughs> you were supposed to begin negotiation with the Narns over an hour ago. Commander Sinclair is quite beside himself. She is too sweet. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, Gold Channel's a priority access, usable only by express permission of Commander Sinclair. Now, you've informed me as a commander ordered, and I will tend to it when my other duties permit. In the meantime, I suggest you monitor the Gold Channels more closely in case there's a second occurrence. I've already seen to it. Well, then thankfully there's no further need for us to chat. I take it all is going well with the Ambassador? Yes. Then why haven't you got the purple files from him yet? Oh, no. It's difficult. He's a spy? He, he doesn't trust me, I... You forget your place, Centauri. A slave must never lie to her master. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you know why a drunken fool like Malari has the power he has? Because his family has been collecting dirt on other families for years, like all the noble houses of the great Centauri Republic. That's tea. A you mind probe? It definitely looks like a probe, all right, but not necessarily for the mind. I can't take it. Oh, but you must. I insist. Should I order the rest some supper? I've already made the reservation at Fresh Air. That's the finest restaurant on Babylon 5. What if we're seen together? What will people say? They'll say Ambassador Molare is a most fortunate man. Aw, he really likes her. We Centauri live our lives for appearances. Oh, I think she really likes you too. This is gonna be sad, isn't it? I haven't sent so many lies since I worked for the political bureau. <laughs> and Londo. What about him? Well, his thoughts, they were intensely... Uh, Lovely. Intensely what? Erotic. Oh. <laughs> Display all data on unauthorized gold channel transmissions. No unauthorized transmissions logged. What? Are you sure this isn't just a figment of your demented imagination? I mean, I think she really does have feelings for him, but she kind of has to do this. She has no choice. No, oh, that didn't take long to kick in. At least she left the brooch. Assassin. He's gonna be sad, though. Stop that inferno bleeping. Ambassador, you ordered me to rouse you for the negotiations. Quietly, don't fear. Quietly. My brain feels like it's been sucked out through my ear. Well. Get my coat, will you? Did you get Malari's files? Yes. Good. I'll be there at once. No. You know the situation as well as I. It's the perfect opportunity to get your feet moist, as the earthlings say. 
I actually don't think it's a wise idea. Nonsense! Oh, I have every confidence in you, which is why I'm giving you full ambassadorial authority. Don't give away the whole world. No, of course not. Oh, she changed her mind. You better hurry, girl. Pushing court face. Out of my way. Ah! Oh my god. My name is Trakis. We have a great deal in common. Adira has betrayed us both. Oh no, he's gonna know. Can you book passage for me? Of course. And don't worry. You'll be safe at my place until then. Adira Anna. Oh, if those files wind up in the hands of your enemies, your career and your republic will be finished. And what is your enemy. concern in all of this? I'm simply protecting my interests and my property. I can be held responsible for any crime she commits. Their republic allows slaves? No! Didn't you hear him? He said that she betray betrayed him too. She had to change of heart. Through another long delay, thanks to the Centauri ambassador. Commander, I have done my best to cooperate, but this latest insult cannot be tolerated! I shall return, but one Ambassador Molari is here, and not before! Kodath will represent the Norn regime. Thank you, Ambassador. I shall endeavor to represent our people to the best of my ability. I just want to give away the whole world. This calls for the highest discretion, and Sinclair, only you, my good and dear friend, can help me. Will you agree to my compromise on the Euphrates Treaty? I'll even seal it with a kiss. That should make Jakar's day. <laughs> but what are these secrets? Like, do they need to come out? <laughs> what is so funny? Michael was right about you, Hawk. You run things tough. I like to know all there is to know about Babylon 5, and Garibaldi's files are very thorough. He's a good commander. Now this is my department. Oh, gosh. Ladies! Adira has a friend named Gira Akshi. They've roomed together for a while. And where might we find that friend? She lives somewhere in Brown 6, I think. Oh. Well, I have a friend or two down here myself. I take it these are not them? Uh-uh. I got the woman. Got her? According to the station logs, nothing's left Babylon 5 for the past two hours. That means Adira and your files are still aboard. No doubt in the hands of that villain, Trakas. He might harm Adira. Lando, he still she's cares the one about who got her. you in this mess. I know. I know. There must be some other way. He's come out of the coma, but I'm afraid his condition's much worse. You'll only have a few minutes at best. I understand. Father? Is that you, Susan? Yes. The dad? I want you to know how proud I am of you, Susan. I always have been. Oh. But a father should give his daughter love as well as respect. Miss Winters will sit in and make sure the seller is dealing truthfully. Earth Alliance will pay her fee, of course. Acceptable. Then we have a deal. Let us say, rather, an understanding. I never knew you could be so devious, Commander. Coming from you, Ambassador, that's a real compliment. <laughs> Telegraph? <Yeah. laughs> you said nothing about this? <laughs> what standard procedure in such dealings? I don't like anyone playing around in my head. I won't be. My purpose here is to verify the merchandise. Of so it's imperative it's okay that you do you. not think of anything else, such as the source of the information, your intent in selling it, or where Adira Thierry is now. Yes. The alien sector, somewhere on level four. Security, she's in the alien sector, level four. She took that information. That is for Adira. Yeah. And this is for me. Yeah, go for it. This guy sucks. You have saved my career and the honor of the entire Centauri Republic. <laughs> <laughs> it was just what you originally said. A computer error. Let her have that. Buy you a drink? Maybe some other time. Oh. 
she got her papers? She's Commander free? Sinclair convinced Trakas to cancel your contract. Convinced. He can be a frightening man, that one. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Take this. Oh. And wear it proudly as a free woman. Oh, I hope we see her again. She's a sweetheart. And he is so sweet with her. Oh, no. Okay, so I, I really like this episode. I thought Adira was the sweetest. And I'm so glad she got her papers to be free. Fuck that other guy. But he got what was coming to him. Uh, Londo was really sweet in this episode. He did not have to be that nice to her after what she did. But he was. And, and even though she did take that information, she ultimately didn't give it to that guy. So... I think he knew that and under, understood that. So I'm I'm happy how that worked out and I'm happy she got to go. And hopefully we see her again. I really liked her. Uh, but you know, what is on those purple files? Is it something that needs to come out? If, if it can ruin your family, what did y'all do, you know? Um, I thought with Susan and Garibaldi, I thought they had a really good moment there. He got to see some of her past, it seems like she did not have a great relationship with her father, but he was apologizing. That was a really sweet moment too. So um, yeah, I like that too. I thought the commander wasn't in this episode a lot, but when he was, he, he's just, uh, I just really like him. He, la he like really came through for them. And <laughs> I like Londo and Jakar's kind of like love-hate relationship. That's really fun. And I like how they used the telepath. She got exactly what they needed. So I really like that too. Um, yeah, this is just a really good episode. I, I like that it was kind of a smaller scale thing. It was not about like the big wars and stuff like that. It's just like this relationship that we got to view. And I really like that. So yeah, thank you for this request. And I'll see you guys later.